I've had this cheap rooftop tent for a little over a year now. Since then, the company has reached out to me and sent me two more of their tents. The first being their new design of their clamshell tent. And the second is this white pop-up tent, which also comes in black. Now this white tent in particular is going to come in at $800 plus the $450 shipping fee. The black one, the clamshell, is going to come in at $900 plus the $450 shipping fee. Now I'd say that these are some of the cheapest tents out on the market right now. This one comes in around $1,300 after shipping, and this one comes in around $1,300 after shipping. The Bama Car Nature Nest, which is a popular option on Amazon, is $1,300 plus a $300 shipping fee. So let's open both of these up, see what's changed on their new clamshell, and see which one's for you. These tents used to be shipped straight from China and it would take months for the tent to arrive at your house. Now they're being stored in a warehouse in the States, so shipping time is drastically cut down. Now right after opening the clamshell, I could already tell that the quality had improved. The first thing I noticed was that they had changed the design of the water seal. The new seal has a bit of a lip added to it, which looks like it will give it some extra water protection. The most noticeable change of course was the color. I really like the gray and black color scheme. It really makes it look like a high intent and I think it go really well with darker colored cars. You can also see they add this little ventilation hole, which the old one didn't have. The body of the tent also changed, which I think is to accommodate the new mattress and condensation mat. The tent comes with crossbars to mount things on top of the tent, mounts for the crossbars, an instruction slash owner's manual, mounting hardware for the tent, the retractable ladder, poles for the awning, and two shoe bags. Now looking at these two tents next to each other, you may not see too many differences through the screen, but in person there are a lot of small changes. Obviously one is dirtier than the other because I've never cleaned it. Going inside the tent, the mattress is wrapped in a velour cover. The mattress itself is very firm, which is definitely an improvement from the old, but it's still not my favorite. I haven't actually slept in it yet, so I don't know how much I can really say about it. Underneath the mattress, you'll find a condensation mat, which I'm glad they added because I began to have condensation issues underneath my old mattress. On the ladder, you can see how the stickers start to peel off on the old one. The only issues I had with the ladder was sand and dirt getting into it over time and making it harder to close. However, the manual goes over how to clean and maintain it. Other small things I like is the mesh sided awning and the LED light strip that runs off a USB power source. The instruction manual is a little hard to understand, but it goes over how to set up and mount the tent, how to maintain the tent, and weight requirements for the crossbars and ladder. There's a lot of little things I never knew until I read the instruction manual. Now I'll be honest here, I really didn't think that this pop-up tent was going to live through shipping. I thought the plastic shell would be damaged and it would just be ruined. So as I was moving it around on the stolly, I was just waiting to open up a broken tent. But as I was unpacking it, there was really no damage on the box at all. Just like the clamshell, it had that wooden support on the bottom. It was wrapped in a foam sheet. And all around the inside of the box, there were cardboard supports, which I gotta say are pretty useful for setting the tent on. This isn't the thickest foam, but it does seem to get the job done. Here's me trying to show you how squishy it is. It's kind of hard to see, but this whole thing is wrapped in a sheet of plastic. I'm sure it's to protect the shell of the tent, but I was actually surprised that the shell was not this cheap plastic, like a shiny type of plastic. It's more of a sandpaper feeling almost. Now I'm flipping this over to show you the bottom of the tent. It's got an aluminum frame on the bottom and the rails for mounting your tent are actually recessed into the shell itself. I think that kind of gives it more of a sleek design and it helps you lower the tent to the roof a little more. Now I'm going to flip the tent back over onto those cardboard supports so I can undo the straps. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of the straps. I do like that it offers some adjustability for keeping sleeping bags or pillows up there, but it takes a little longer to set up and take down the tent because of those straps. And I'm a little worried that over time they're going to deteriorate in the sun and weather and whatnot. So I'll see how they hold up over time. One thing I noticed about camping in my old, darker colored clamshell tent is how fast it heats up. So I'm kind of excited to see how this one's going to be in the heat. Of course it comes with all the accessories you're going to need. Shoe bag, ladder, the awning poles, and the mounting hardware. The mattress is just like the clamshell tent. It's got that soft velour finish on it, and then underneath it you have the condensation mat. Now the hardest part was mounting the tent. 
Luckily, I have the strongest dad in the world, so it was no issue for us. But the tent probably weighs around 150 pounds, plus it's kind of awkward, so you're definitely going to want someone to help you. Now, I'm going to go over my favorite things about each tent and my least favorite things about each tent. I like the room you get up in the pop-up tent. It gives you a lot of space to store sleeping bags or pillows or extra blankets. I also like the fact that there's windows on each side. With all of them open, it makes the tent feel a lot bigger. My favorite thing about the clamshell is how easy it is to open and how it kind of has a sleek and almost rugged look to it. When it comes to ladders, I like the pop-up ladder a lot better. Because of its design, all you have to do is push it down to close it. To be honest, it's probably only like a 2-3 to three second difference between closing each one. But every second counts, you know? No, I don't always sleep in very late, but if I were to, I would pick the clamshell. The fabric is darker, and it feels thicker than my old clamshell and this pop-up tent. When it comes to quality, that one's really hard. I was blown away by the quality of each tent, and all the small little features they added like the LED lights, the mattress, the condensation mat, and just all the little things they touched up on. I mean, I was genuinely surprised when these showed up and I unboxed them, just... I, it was more than I expected, and I have no doubt that these will last a long time because my other tent, which is almost a year old now, I barely take care of it. The only thing I've changed is the mattress. Everything else still works just fine. If I were to change anything on these tents, I might change the straps in the pop-up tent, but I kind of like how it gives you that adjustability. I would try to say more about the mattress, but I think it's going to kind of be different for everyone. So when it comes down to it, it really just depends on what you like, which design you like more, and which one you think is going to be better for you. Do you like the pop-up with the spacious feeling interior, or do you like the clamshell that closes a little faster and looks a little more rugged? So now that you've seen both of these tents, which one do you think is better for you? You can check their website out by clicking the link in my description, and it'll lead you to Young Hunter's website. There, you're going to see this tent, in that tent. You're also going to see awnings and different styles of tent and you can look around and see which one you like the most. If you want to see more about their new clamshell tent, there's a guy named Ben Valak, and I hope I'm saying that right, um, that did a video on this tent as well. Um, he goes into a very in-depth and kind of goes over everything type of video and I'll put the link to his video down in the description. If you want to see future videos on these tents and where I take them, just comment down below and I'll do my best to respond to you and I might make a few videos in the future. That pretty much wraps up the video. You can subscribe, like, or do whatever you want, but I highly suggest you go check out these tents from Young Hunter.